All right, kind people. Um, answering a question on linear and horizontal uh, on shifting of graphs. Um, so the question says, suppose um, uh, the graph G, uh, has um, x intercept of, and they give you an x intercept, say 7, and maybe sometimes they give you a point, um, say 3,5, well, 3,4. And then they ask you how will transformations affect that graph. Well, very simply, um, what you have to do is first understand that the x-intercept is actually a point. And in this case right here, that's 7, 0. And then what you have to remember is that each um, point is simply an x or y coordinate. Once you remember that fact, then you can look at the transformation and use that to help you answer the question. So they're saying, so suppose the graph right here has those points and they call the graph f of x. And then they send them the new point on say f of x plus two will be what? On f of x will be the new point. And so what essentially they're asking you to do is that they're asking you to take the old points which are connected to the function f and figure out what will be the new points after the transformation. The first step is simple. What you must do is identify the transformation that you see. And x plus 2 right here is a horizontal shift. To the left. That's right, Beyonce style. Um, two units. Another way of saying that is to subtract two from the x values. And so what that means is that the two points that I have given, the point on the x-intercept, I have to subtract. And that two and it gives me my new point. So my new point. So the first one right here will become 1 minus 4, 1 comma 4 after I subtract the 2 from the 4. And my x-intercept will become 5 comma 0 after I subtract the 2. Again, you have to remember for your horizontal transformation, you always do the opposite. x plus 2 is inside the parentheses. And so you got to subtract 2 from each of your x values. Again, another example. So now let's say we have our transformation um, f of, say, x plus 5. This plus 5 on the outside right here is a vertical shift. And I'm going to go up 5. And what that means is that means to add 5 to the y value. Let me rewrite the original points. The original points were um, 3, 4. And my x-intercept that they give me was 7, 0. And to each of those, after I apply the vertical shift, the new point is the unchanged x value followed by an updated y value, I'm adding 5. An unchanged x value and an updated y value, I am adding 5. Um, what other kind of transformations they can have? They can multiply by a constant. So on, um, say, 3 times f of x, this right here is a vertical stretch. Um, by factor 3 and this would be to multiply the y's by 3 and so again my x's will stay the same 
but my y values will get tripled and so then that would be 3 comma 12 and then this would be 7 comma 0 well 0 triples is still 0 mm -hmm. okay one last example let's say again I want to transform the f of x so let's go on and then I have f of negative x okay and that minus sign on the x means to multiply the x values by negative it represents a reflection over the y-axis and so again my transformation is a reflection over the y-axis but this really means multiply the x values by negative 1 and so my original points 3 comma 4 and 7 comma 0 after the transformation I will get negative 3 comma 4 and I will get negative 7 comma 0 so I get a different x-intercept and my point flips over to the other side of the y-axis. Thank you.